Wilkins sends a man in motion. Takes the snap. Fakes the give. He'll keep it around the left side. Here he comes to the three-yard line. Hurdles a man into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona State. Coming into your freshman year, you admitted to being a cocky kid. So what was it like for you to be red-shirted and learn behind Taylor Kelly and Mike Markovich? I mean, I learned a lot about just how you carry yourself around the stadium. You know, there's a certain persona that you want to put off towards your peers when you're the quarterback of a football team. You know, that's been kind of my mindset and what I've changed is that you know, when I cross those white lines, you know, it's, I got to treat it like it's a business. If that's what I want to get to in the future, the NFL and all these things, I got to create my mind and put my mind in that position now to be ready for that. Now, this is the first year you haven't been involved in the QB battle. How does that change your approach to this year? You know, I do think that my mindset was more mature this year um, in terms of just how I went about everything that I did. You know, I wasn't, wasn't out doing nothing reckless. I was in the house watching film. You know, I was doing all the things and in my in my mind I, I told myself when I woke up every morning that I got to do something somebody else isn't doing. And what were some of those things that you did? You know whether it's on an off day and you don't got to wake up until 12 o'clock you know still get up at seven go you know go run go lift do something extra you know be extra call my guys up yo let's go throw fades let's just go catch the ball you know just when you continuously have your mind on this game man, and you continuously want to learn and be a student, that's when you that's when things start to come to you easier. Manny Wilkins, the Arizona State quarterback, still down, slow to get up. Now in your college career, you've injured your ankle, your big toe, your shoulder. I mean, I'm sure the list goes on. What will be the difference in a healthy Manny Wilkins this year? I'll just be comfortable. You know, if I'm not taking big legs. We'll roll out to his right and we'll be brought down. And, you know, getting hit a lot, my body's able to last and, you know, I'll be able to do what I do. So does that mean we don't get the hurdles this year? Wilkins will run it right up the middle. He's got a whole lot of green hurdles, a man into the end zone. We shall see. I mean, I'm, I don't, I never planned it out and it's never anything I go through in my head. It kind of just happens, honestly. Between those injuries, the QB battles and the coaching changes, how has that molded the player that we see today? That's obviously helped me grow, grow a lot. Um, you know, there's a lot of cases where I easily could have hung them up, transferred, um, made the choice to, you know, accept my position, accept, you know, a battle and just be like whatever about it. Um, but I just let it motivate me, honestly. You know, I just got a dog mindset and, you know, in this world it's dog eat dog. So I eat other dog. If I told you Arizona State, Pac-12 champions, what would it take for you to make that statement come true? Complacency cannot be in this building. Um, players can't get complacent with success. Coaches can't get complacent with success. And if all that goes well, how do you like your chances of possibly playing at the next level? All the people that I've talked to and the people that have, you know, what do you want to do after? Do you want to go to the league? Do you want to play in Canada? Blah, 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 all these questions. As long as I go out there and handle business on the field, put up numbers, win football games, the rest of control itself. So.